Waking up with cockroaches on your face fucking sucks. So we're going to do something about that. Welcome back to the Bone Zone. Now, as I'm sure at least some of you would have noticed in my last video, this room, not quite finished yet. It's livable, it's comfortable, don't get me wrong, but there's still a bit of work to be done. Now, if you're interested in the details of how, why, and with whom this room was built, leave a comment down below, and I'll do a separate video explaining that in detail. But today, we're doing something a bit more specific. This air cooler. I've been having a lot of trouble at night with bugs getting in. I'm pretty sure they're, they're either coming in through the cracks here or coming in through under the door over there. But either way, this needs to be done. So we're going to measure what length the architrate, architraz, alcatrate, did I just say alcatraz? <laughs> we'll look it up what it's called, but I'm pretty sure it's architrate. Sometimes my genius is, it's almost frightening. Anyway, we're going to measure, we're going to cut, and we're going to put it in. So shouldn't be too difficult. See how it goes. Sorry about the camera angle, that's probably the best I can do for this spot. There is a fridge right here and you know, it's pretty packed. Uh, but basically we only need four measurements. I'm not sure how we're gonna fit one in there. We'll do that bit last. Basically we're gonna need one coming across here. We need to figure out how far it's actually gonna come out to account for the piece that's gonna go here. I suppose technically you could run it up like to there, but then you're gonna have a line going down there which is probably going to look pretty bad. It'd be better to have it like just a straight line across. So we'll go with that. Alright, so 640 and then I've just got to add the width onto that. And then we'll call that 379. That's going to be fun to cut. One last one at the bottom and I'll leave that side bit till last. I'll come back to that. Oh, I died. God damn it. Don't be a bitch. Doesn't want to stay in there. And that one is 655. So we'll go cut these and then I'll figure out how we're going to attach them. We've got some good thick beams running behind there. So I'll probably just attach it with a nail gun. So I've got the measurements cut into the architrave with a razor blade. Couldn't find a pencil. So, you know, whatever works. Uh, but I don't really have a spot to set up the camera, like to record me doing it. Um, I'm either going to have to invest in a camera tripod or just make one, you know, that could be a good video. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'll, I'll just cut this now and then we'll just get back up to the room. Rightio lads, we got the architrave and of course we have Big Bessie. Let's do this. I know, I know, it's your favourite camera angle. I definitely need to get a tripod. But for now, let's just see how we did. Not bad at all. All right, where's the nail gun? I ain't getting much better than that. Beautiful. Well, guys, she is done. Can't complain about that. Should definitely keep the bugs out at any rate. It's nice and reasonably flush. Only out by like a millimeter. But practice makes perfect. Like I said, all that matters is that it keeps the bugs out, so. As long as it does that, I am pretty happy. I'm gonna have to get in there and put some glue because it has uh, bowed a bit. Yeah, do that last little side bit. But there's no bugs coming in through there, so I'm not in a rush. I guess that means job's done, so, boy.